Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of kit number seven from Papercraft Society. Who was excited and somewhat relieved to see this drop through their letterbox? There was a delay with this one, obviously with everything going on, you know, these things happen. The non-essentials have uh, been pushed to the side. So these have been sat, I believe, in customs for some time. But however, we now have them and we have something fun to be able to craft with. I'm super excited to get this one because it is the Helen Griffin from Simply Made Crafts designed this one. So let's have a little look. I, I must admit I have already had a peek because I just was too excited. So again, as always, you get a lovely different designed box, which is a kind of a sneak peek of what the papers will be like and your kind of colour palette. So you can see here we've got that lovely silver kind of foiling on the the title there and elements of the flowers and stuff it looks really nice so let's get inside so this one it says here i'm so in love with this box it's full to the brim with beautiful products and inspiration to get you started helen so as always you get your envelope so we'll have a look in that first so i'll just pop this to one side okay so you get your three pockets and don't forget to share your makes with us, hashtag Papercraft Society. So if you are on any of the social media platforms and you share your makes, then make sure you share with that hashtag so that the guys at head office and Helen herself can see what you've been making. So this says the gable box can be used for any occasion. How will you decorate it? So Helen is known for a 3D packaging kind of ideas so gift bags gift boxes mini albums so this one the i guess the heart of it in terms of the dies is that gable box and you can just see it here on the outline and then you've got all these bits and pieces that will coordinate with that underneath there we've also got the papers so let's have a little look so i haven't actually opened these Okay, so there you can see these beautiful sprays of flowers, which is what's kind of throughout all the packaging here. Really lovely quality, so you get two sheets of that gorgeous design. I have to really think about what I'm going to make because obviously you only get the two here, so once they're gone, they're gone. But you also get two of this design, which is really nice. So there's two equally beautiful, lovely patterns there. And then this one's really nice. That I, I mean, that's lovely kind of I would do like a almost like a mini um, scrapbook layout with that actually got that beautiful border but I will look at some nice ways to use that and then we have that beautiful stripe paper as well it's like got a nice pastel and almost somewhat like a blurred kind of edge to it it's very subtle but really really nice so super excited with those papers can't wait to start making some nice bits and pieces with that so that's those and then we have here who no sorry why not why not experiment with your inks to achieve different effects ah so the inks must be in the box so i was just thinking then i don't see any inks but i forgot we've still got more to come so in this one here now i did see the videos you know kind of like the build up to this and there was watercoloring and i love watercoloring it's what i i always say it's what i tend to do off camera i don't really share it too much it's like my re my relaxation but here we have got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of watercolour card. Now, this is a cold press watercolour card. However, it has got a, a pretty smooth side on the back. So if you do want to do some stamping with the watercolours, I would suggest you use that smooth side because um, I think you're going to get some nice images. And then the front, you have that grain, so you'll get that lovely watercolour effect that you know we all know. So to have six pieces there's really good and I think they feel I mean they could be I think they're kind of maybe just under 300 gsm maybe 280 something like that so nice quality you could certainly do a lovely watercolor wash over this and then actually make your 3d gable box which is something I think I might try do actually I try to do I think I, I like that idea then we have here a watercolor brush pen so let's have a little look in here. I love all the packaging, all the little pockets and stuff. I keep all these bits. Anybody else who subscribes, do you keep all these bits? So here you've just got your little water barrel there. So you just unscrew the end, she says. Hold on a minute. Oh, oh there we go. Maybe the wrong way. Oh, that's unusual. Okay, so this one actually unscrews anti-clockwise. I'm sure my others are the other way. Anyway, 
nonetheless <laughs> we have that water barrel so you just fill it with your water and then you'll be you'll be able to kind of pick up your ink pigments put them maybe onto like a media mat so you can actually use that as your palette and then you can create some nice washes so that's that and then we always have a stamp set so this one here we have all these kind of they look to me like a peony so that's going to be nice i love this kind of crawler that's really nice do like that one a lot and also on here we have two with all the dots and then from that get used in you know your cards and stuff and you've got handmade with love so that's nice to put on the back of the gable box and then you have a gift for you with the frame and thank you and happy birthday so I imagine those two will also fit within that frame you've also got celebrate which can go into that arrow and you have this very big frame here which again you know you can put all sorts in so that's um, yeah, another nice one, looking forward to using that. So that's everything in the envelope. And then in this one here, we have our inks. So there's our three colors for this kit. So we've got that lovely, it's more of a, like a wine red, I would say. You've got like an olive green and then that kind of peachy color there. These are hybrid inks. So, you know, you can do lots of different effects with them. And um, from what I've seen from the past ones, they're pretty loaded with pigments. You do get a lot in them. Actually got a bit of a weight to them as well. Then we have our inspiration booklet and we've also got here our cards so you get this in every single kit this one has understanding paper and cardstock weights and what i like to do with mine is i have them all on this little binder ring so they're all there and they've all got different kind of little things on them so i'm just going to pop a little hole in there and that'll get added onto there and you can see all of my other ones there together so yeah it's just a nice way to keep them at hand and yeah just got lots of information on them so I'll keep that there and I'll do that after the video then we have here some adhesive crystals so they're nice and they're good color they go with everything and then we have our card stops so you've got your pattern paper and then you have your cards plain card stock here because the pattern is strong enough to be able to make 3d crafts with as well so I think mine's a little bit attached so it's just yeah just tacked onto the back one so we have here, these colours all match the ink cubes. So we have that olive green, you get two pieces. Then we've got that lovely wine kind of red there. Again, two pieces. And there's that peach colour. So again, the two pieces. And then we've also got two lovely pieces of the mirror silver there as well. So that's nice to have that. So yeah, that's all of those pieces. Let's have a little quick look in the book so you can get an idea of the gable box. So there's Helen on the front. You have a little introduction usually, the contents, all that stuff. I don't want to show too much because, again, for anybody that um, hasn't opened theirs yet, I mean, you probably won't watch this anyway because you won't want it to ruin the surprise. But for anybody that is interested in joining the Papercraft Society monthly kits, you can subscribe on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, six monthly basis, or you can sign up for the whole year. So here, you can again, it just shows you the contents of this kit. And then that is the gable box. So this is, like I said, that main die and I really like this idea of making it's almost like a little greenhouse I like that a lot and you can see that's been stamped there so I imagine that's been stamped onto the watercolor card and then Helen has you know watercolored the leaves this is using the pattern paper and that olive card stock and I love the flowers really do like those ones there and then it shows you how to do it and again more inspiration there and there'll be loads more throughout that book as well so yeah tons of inspiration this one like i said has gone out now everybody all the subscribers have got it i don't believe there were any more of these so this is you know this one has sold out but if you'd like to register for the next one which i possibly think that one is actually already now ended because this one was obviously quite delayed so i will share the links to the papercraft society because i think the there's still time to sign up for box nine Okay, so you'll be able to see if you haven't already signed up to Craft Stash website, um, have a look there because that's where you will see all the kind of the goings on and the releases and all the little kind of teaser videos and all that kind of stuff. But you'll be able to see. But I believe the current one that we're waiting to come out now or the one that has landed possibly is the Be Crafty. I think that's the one. And I think the one after this is Olga's Paper, to Paper Craft Discovery. Yes, I think it's the Papercraft Discovery one after this, which is box number eight. Box nine is the Be Crafty box, which is like your mixed media. And I'm really looking forward to that one eventually as well. But right now I've got this one. I'm going to 
now do some crafting with it and um, enjoy it because we have waited a while but thank you craft stash for getting this to us and uh, yeah i will be back sharing lots of fun tutorials and probably using this during my facebook live craft alongs as well so look out for those so thanks for watching all the links as always will be shared below and i'll be back very soon with another video bye